Hey there team, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Drill Deal Oil Tycoon. I believe there's a demo for this on Steam. We're having a look at the full build and I think it's not out for another couple of days. So, you know, let's have a bit of a look at it today. Um, so what is this? It seems to be like a, a very cute voxely graphics like with this bordering on Lego Hilo there. Um, but we're we're sort of running a an oil platform, a drilling rig, which appeals to me greatly. I really enjoy the movie Deepwater Horizon. I I I, I still want a video game of that, like a first person survival game, <laughs> you know, trying to trying to navigate that. But anyway, I digress. This will do me just fine. Tutorial, sure. Learn to play. Let's figure this out together. All right, welcome to Drill Deal. Wazda, got it. Rotate. Cool. Reset with R. Bonza. Uh, what is this? We've got a radial. The er uh button. What, what the fucking button is that? The... Uh, opens available with the appropriate settings. Oh, so I have to look up the actual... Okay. That's a... That's fucking weird. Like, not, not a great start. Okay. You can pause. Yep. Yeah, cool. Toggle building. Tutorial building. Drill bit is used to extract oil and gas from the ocean floor. To earn crude oil, I need to build a refinery. So you want me to click on this, right? Build a refinery on the mark spaces. Remember that buildings cost money, require blocks. Basic refinery, put it right where it, how do I rotate the building? Rotate by right clicking. Bonza, all right, there we go, cool. Assign employees, look at them. Building needs workers. Yeah, okay. Click on the refinery building, all right. Click to this to add a bloke. Drill. John Dwayne. Clint Westwood. Oh my god, okay. Panel shows employees. John Wayne's already at the drill. Alright, he's already drilling, right? Employees are sorted uh, according to skills. Okay, better skilled workers work faster. That makes sense. What's this skill? Cooking. Oh, yeah, okay. Drilling. Right. Sign Clint Westwood. Yeah, right, okay, Clint. Plus. Okay, so employees. As you can see, Clint Westwood is working and producing gasoline and fuel from crude oil. Okay, cool. Overall of effectiveness affects their production speed. Presented for each shift. Oh, okay, look, this how many barrels he's making. Most production buildings, especially after being upgraded, can change their production modes. Allows you to produce different resources or different proportions. Okay, sure. Buildings, unlike workers, work day and night. To achieve maximum efficiency, you need to add another employee to work the night shift. Oh, that seems bloody reasonable. Let's put Roger Amor there. Um, platform level. Oh, the little squirties coming out the top. Cool. Unlock some technology new buildings. You need to increase the level of your oil platform. Okay, this is all pretty straightforward. I like it so far. Platform, right? This must be like research buildings, right? Build a food container in the marked spaces. Tanks increase the total space for adequate resources. Right? Food. It says food on it. Right. Food and meals are stored in the same container. Right? Okay, cool. Meal spaces increase. Poor meal. Ingredients. Okay, I see. Thanks. Platform is now level two. Yes. That's cool. Reputation. When you raise the level of your platform, you also gain reputation. High reputation. Increase your earnings. Right. You also gain reputation by making good decisions. Oh, well, there you go. Is that how it works? That's what I've been getting wrong in life. Gotcha. Storage for food, a scene. Right. Some buildings placed next to others give them a bonus. Hey, okay. Build a second food container. Oh, it says cold. It doesn't see food. I'm seeing what I want to see. All right. How do I know that they're getting a capacity bonus? Containers of the same type built needs extra. Oh, bloody hell! Built next to each other. Capacity increased by twenty percent. Is that this year? I reckon you could have made it smaller. Um, okay, cool. Different types of bonuses you will discover as you play the game. Most production buildings will receive a performance bonus of a container of their resources built near them. Okay, fine. But you're not going to tell me. I have to figure that out. Eh, I don't like that at all. You should tell me that sort of shit so I can min max person that plays this sort of game is less interested in exploring and discovering and pixel hunting and poking and prodding 
we're, we're more about min-maxing. It's actually the other end of the scale. Give us the information and we will work with the information. But I digress. Example, another building that gives its neighborhood uh, neighbors a bonus to an electric generator. By placing generators next to each other, you increase production. Right. Okay. So giving it electricity makes it go better. God, I really like these, these voxels. Connectors and pipes are used to get bonuses when buildings are spaced out apart. Or if, Oh, okay. Thanks to them, the bonuses will work if the building was next to each other. That's okay. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. Again, you shouldn't be bloody arcane about this, this information. You should tell me the obvious stuff. You know, because what happens when, you know, I figure out 20 different combinations and I start forgetting the first one? A tooltip would be helpful. Noise. Adjacent buildings can have a negative impact on each other. Most buildings emit noise. If you erect a building with workers within that range, they will get a penalty to their satisfaction. Okay. Emitted noises can be checked by hovering over the appropriate icon. Right? So if I, you're not going to let me click on it. That's a bit poo. All right, there's your income. You need contracts. Income's negative. Time to fix it. Oh, because it's red, I suppose. Uh, let's make money with contracts. The handshake, right? In order to sell some crude oil using a quick order. Do I just do this? Deal. Are you sure you want to sell 10 for 10? Yes. Okay. Contracts are the main source of income. Signing the contract means the ship will arrive each morning to collect the resources specified. If there are not enough resources, the ship will take those that are available. Okay, cool. Adjust the sliders, right? Well, how about I just give you a, a, an unreasonable amount? Are you sure you want to sell 5000 for $10? That doesn't seem right. Hang on. Oh, apparently I have to say yes. Okay. Oh, right. No, no. Okay. That's per, it was probably per barrel. Your income is positive now. Oh, okay. The amount that I'm making plus 50,000 a day. Yeah. I don't know if that's, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. Put it in the book. Whatever. I'll blame my manager. Um, clients. We've got different, we've got Malt. We've got Chung Lai, Eco Gas National. Right. You can buy short-term and long-term contracts. Once purchased, a new long-term contract will be immediately available. Right. Purchase quick contract is assigned to a pool. Right. Let's buy a new long contract. All right. Chung Lai. Thank you. Open the employee panel. Okay. The employee window, you find information. Yeah, very good. You'd hope so. Employees must sleep, eat, and be entertained. Oh, my God. It's complicated. That's, uh, you know, the cornerstone of every healthy male diet. Uh, neglect their needs, get unpleasant consequences. All right, got it. I understand. Give your employees somewhere to sleep. Sounds good. Employee quarters. Oh, you don't want me to put them anywhere? How about we put them right next to the noisy fridge? No, you don't want to let me do that? Oh, hang on. It's a... Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, let's do that. They'll love that. that that'll keep them alert, especially while they're asleep. Open your new build... Building quarters, right? Okay, cool. And click on it. Yeah, one of your employees is sleeping. Yeah, I can see that. Roger. Look at this employee. He's hungry. Right. Give him a buffet. All right. Let's put it right here next to the feed, the sleep house and the feed house. Let's bloody disco. Click the panel of the new buffet to open it. All right. So, as long as... Resource food attributes. All right, so they cook their own food. Is that what's going on here? Food supplies are low. You need a kitchen to cook meals from your ingredients. Oh, this plate. This is the, the buffet. This is where it plates up, right? Lack of meals to feed your employees, right? So you need a gr ingredients. Ordering resources. Okay, one ship is currently available. It's the maximum capacity of the ship and how much space there is currently being used, right? See the price for ship rental? Jesus, okay. After returning, the ship must prepare for the next voyage. If you choose to rent it during this time, the price will be higher. Okay. How long it will take for the ship to arrive, right? Get the, the food slider between 10 and 80. How about 400? How's that sound? No? You don't want to let me do that? All right, let's go. 65. 65 is perfect. 
All right, reset button. Total price you'll pay for the hired ship. Okay, confirm. All right, give your employees a place to cook meals. Okay, I can do that. Small kitchen, right there. Kitchen's not working because there's not enough power. Build a generator. All right, there it is there, small gas generator. Put it right next to where the guys sleep. All right, cool. Oh no, it's a bit loud, is it? Power of cooking. Go to the kitchen. Uh, hang on. You need ingredients and clean water. Let's build a water purifier. Okay, where is that? How do I... Oh, I can drag. Okay, cool beans. Uh, let's put that there. Need to cook for the kitchen. Hire one. Okay, we can do that too. Bang. Sleep the kitchen building. It's a bit fiddly, isn't it? Just put the just put the cook in the kitchen. It's not that hard. Night is coming. Day shift workers leave the buildings and go to the sleep. Okay. Look at your employee. He's unhappy. Fuck him. He's got a great job. Probably paying him so much as well. Give him an entertainment building. Give him a small cinema. What is this luxury workplace? Oh my god. There you go. Right. Choose a new cinema and wait for the employee if he's not already inside. Cinema. Assign an employee. All right. Clint Westwood. You can work there. Now assign Clint Westwood. Oh, okay. I've already done it. Cinema restores employee satisfaction. Right. There we go. His, his sun's going up. All right. Technic oh, geez. The boat's rocked up. There we go. Oh, the contract. We've only we've only got four hundred out of the five thousand promised barrels, but that's all right. Our income is still apparently fifty thousand dollars a day. Technical condition: <laughs> building's deteriorating. Uh, okay, if it's destroyed, it will stop production. That's not good. That's not good. You need a workshop to repair. Jesus, need a bloody everything, don't I? All right, hang on. Oh, it'll repair everything within range, will it? Oh, that's bloody cool. Let's do that. Put, click the workshop, put an employee on it, put Big John Dwayne on it. Repair damaged buildings. Pirate ship has appeared. It has no, it has no good intentions. Look, he's even got a pirate flag. What's this nonsense, boy? Don't you know I'm pulling crude oil up and refining it? Probably shouldn't shoot me. Buildings have health points. When they drop below 10, the building will start to burn. Oh, this is very bad. When they drop to zero, the building will be destroyed. Fortunately, repair shop workers repair damaged buildings. Right, defend yourself, build a defense turret. I'm not sure this is how you run oil rigs in modern era, but uh, let's just get around it. Let's get about it. How about we put it right there? I have to put it on the... Oh, okay. Uh, look at that. Surprise, motherfucker. Activate the shooting mode to destroy the pirate. Oh, okay. Oh no, I just turn it on? No, I have to manually do it. I think mm, okay, I kinda hate this sort of bullshit minigames in uh in these uh in these sort of games. What was it? It was like a little big workshop or whatever. Most charming game ever, but it would make you do this stupid hit the rats, click the rats to get rid of them. And I, I can't stand this sort of crap in these games. It's just busy work. I don't know, and I don't know the developer's mind. Is it one? They actually think it's a value add, which is harmless enough, and it's misguided, but it's, you know, it's harmless. Or two, maybe they know that the game doesn't have legs and it's a form of padding, just a different kind of padding, not not thin gameplay from an MMO sort of thing, but like just adding these crappy little mini games to try and make the game look like it's got more. Anyway, I'm not saying that's what's happening here. That's just more of a academic discussion on the topic. All right. Uh, you need new technologies. That sounds reasonable. Let's get new technologies. Oh, look at this. Oil basic production. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unlock small chemical plant lubricants container. Lubricants production. Yeah, bugger it. That sounds good. Get uh, an oil rig just full of men and we need more lube. All right. Tech tree. Very cool. Employee care. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Employees. Fast hiring, call for efficiency. Oh, look at this. Advanced engineers and that. Bonza. Here we go. Expeditions. One of the more interesting ways to get resources. Okay, wow. This is quite the oil rig. Um, 
What am I doing? I'm going to build a small shipyard expedition. Let's put it right. It doesn't want to let me put it fucking anywhere, so that's fine. Can I... I can turn my camera at least. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, look, I've got a little bloody broom broom, little car there. Now click the shipyard. Get uh, Clint Westwood. I, why am I giving the same dudes 20 different jobs, you know? I feel like maybe I need to hire on more chats. Okay. Little Rock Island. Expeditions. Completing some expeditions unlocks others. That's all right. Now, this is a sort of minigame fluff crap that I actually kind of like um, in, in strategy games. You know, like, yeah, Anno. Anno does it the best, I reckon. Um, but I don't mind these sort of put guys on time quests off screen on secondment. It was sort of a mobile thing. And I remember even one of the Assassin's Creed did it with, like, crewing your ships and that. Um, and I know some people, there was, especially when this stuff started happening and cropping up in mainstream gaming, there was pushback. But what, what can I say? My tastes are my own. I don't mind this sort of sending them off. You can do it in like XCOM 2 these days, you know, War of the Chosen. Each expedition requires a major payment, usually boat fuel. Right. Need an expedition explorer. Right. Here's a list of your expedition ports. Currently you own one. Right. Okay, cool. You can see the employees are uh, done, right? Worker is unfit for an expedition. Icon has faded out. Right. They, they come back exhausted. That seems reasonable. All right. Cool. What's this? Duration of the expedition. I don't know why it's a, like a blue bloody pearl, but that's fine. Uh, start. Let's go. Time to produce lube. Uh, build a chemical plant, then hire uh, an assignment. I, I do like that these noise things are cropping up saying, hey, fuck with, you've messed up, you know. Uh, expedition finish, you got a, a, a thousand dollar treasure, that's nice. But I'm busy trying to build lube. Uh, build a chemical plant. Alright, can I squeeze it in? Oh my god, I'm running out of bloody footage. You know? Let's put it there. Small chemical plant completed. Then hire and assign workers to it. Okay. Right. How do I uh, hire blokes? It's like this, right? Employee. Hire. Let's just hire everyone. Need more space for sleep. Yeah, fair enough. I can understand that. Day shift. Let's put Bradley Iron on that. And then night shift. Put Mickey Green. The man, the myth. All right, cool. It needs power. How does it need power? I've built a power place. Did I not? Uh, power 290. Roger. Okay, hang on, hang on. We can bloody fix that. Uh, it's going to be blue. Small gas generator. There we go, laugh. At 290 out of 290. Now, how do I speed this bad boy up? Are you fucking serious? Is there no game speed on this? That's a... Look, some games can pull it off. Oh, no, here it is. Here it is there. I'm an idiot. It's all good. It's all good. Space bar is pause. Victory, you've successfully completed this. All right, let's bloody disco then. That was good. I, actually, I liked it. It was pretty informative. Pretty standard stuff. It did, is a big info dump. It's almost like learning something for work. Uh, which I guess you could argue is, it, it is my job. Destroy mines and upgrade the platform. Expand your oil platform into pirate waters. Organize expeditions, yeah. Natural disasters. I, I kind of like the idea of just let me run. Here you go, sandbox. I could, I can't unlock it yet because, hang on. So you have to beat fucking four missions to get the sandbox. I'd rather just bloody build an oil rig, mate. Uh, again, like I said, as soon as you start adding all these, some people, uh, maybe I seem jaded about it. Some people might see it as interesting, different permutations on the gameplay. But I would argue, let's have a look at RimWorld. I know it's very different, but RimWorld is just this sandbox and it's infinitely replayable because it has enough direction, enough stuff going on, enough sort of impulses against the player, you know, injected drama. You have to be healing dudes. At any given time, you know, you're trying to scale up this or that or the other. You're making your own decisions in this sandbox and it stands on its own legs and you never get bored. I worry about something like this as much as I enjoy a linear experience in storytelling in a game like this if it's like it's just all these scenarios with a different gimmick attached to it I'm sort of like 
uh, to me, that's more of an indication that your game doesn't stand on its own two feet. But again, there might be a significant bias in that. Uh, maybe there is a whole crowd of people that enjoy this uh, in-between where it's not full sandbox, create your own base sort of thing. Um, like Oxygen Not Included is another one that comes to mind where, you know, th th there is an overarching sort of gameplay loop that you play through, but you're never really directly told to do uh, a linear sort of quest or a gimmick or a scenario. But maybe there are people that love scenarios. Personally, I, ca I don't care. I'd rather the game just be the game. Anyway, big digression there, but bugger it. No, it's still relevant. Manage our company's new investment, a platform in a flourishing sea full of algae. Okay. What is this? This looks like something Charlie Day drew. All right. All right. Got a, an island and a cunt with a hat and a thing with expedition and a smiley hexagon face sun thing. What are you trying to tell me, Charlie? All right. Destroy all mines. Build platform. Hire 15 employees. Build more buildings to raise your platform level and hire employees. Okay. To hire more employees, you need more bedrooms. Build defensive gun to destroy the mines. Okay. Right. Okay. Sure. I get it. I get it. Gonna have to play the game. Now, the mines aren't bloody hurting anyone. They're not going anywhere. Apparently, the current's not carrying them. Look at this little sharky boy who's literally as big as my frigging ship. That's a, that's a megalodon. Okay. Now, where were we? Uh, hire employees. Expedition. All right. Salary. Sort by cheap. Here we go. Hire the shitters. Got them. All right. Here are the boys. Timbo, you're on that. Night shift. Uh, Gabriel. All right. You'll do. Drill, drill. Gotcha. Expedition. Maddie Smart. You're the man. Effectiveness. Not that I've gone on expeditions. I'd have to open the expedition map or some some nonsense, right? Um, okay, cool. So let's start building buildings. I want more dudes. So I want to build... Uh, well, I'm not making money, so I probably need a refinery, right? That probably seems like the first most sensible thing. Let's do that. All right. Making the transformers sound. Right. Night shift, we're going to give Matty. All right. And then we're going to need uh, bloody contracts or something. All right. Demand, 5.5. Renew. Max chickens. I promise you 5,000 barrels a day. Even though I, there's no godly way that I could do that. And now we've got an inaccurate read. Okay, that's kind of cool, I suppose. But, like, th that you can have projections that are inaccurate because... Like, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Because I've, I've put in the wrong contract yield, it's giving me that projection, which is incorrect. However, all this is encouraging me to do is go into the bloody contract... And move the frigging, which I can't move the slider, I have to cancel the contract. But I'm going to have to get fiddly and balance it. And that's sort of, hmm, that's not fiddly shit that I'm interested in. Um, okay, cool. So, what's going on here? Does it work without power? Let's find out. Small gas generator. Alright. 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 Let's go fast. Plus zero dollars from the India Trans con contract. Salary from contracts. Okay. Why is it red? Is red negative? I think that I think we covered that. Right, well I need to raise my 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 platform level currently 170 next level at 180 need 10 points to level all right well maybe we give these dudes a bloody somewhere to sleep or something a bit unreasonable if you ask me but whatever maybe not next to the generator now that we're done oh hang on shit what have i done to the camera all right let's put that there right level two gained reputation 
There we go. Now I can hire more. What's this? What's going on here? Go away. All you're doing is telling me what I've done. I know what I've done. What's this? Employees? No, no, no. We want to recruit. Give me some more goo goobers. Get them cheap. Get them cheap. Need power? Because we're over the power threshold. Okay. Small gas generator. Hopefully we get a bonus. Right. Better give someone a job here. Oh, look at this. He likes that. Big Bob loves it. And Willie Novak. There we go. So can I give dudes multiple jobs? Is that possible? Can you tell me? Oh, here you go. Free. It tells you who's free. Oops. Right. And who's best for this? Oh, he's on the basic refinery already. And he's on the drill. Wait, this is the drill. Let's put him there. Hey, there we go. Now everyone's starting to get hungry. Probably because I'm not feeding them. Um, bridge. Probably don't need a bridge. Uh, let's get the buffet. Right. Let's get the small kitchen. Congratulations, you, you've achieved level three. Oh, good. Let's hire some more dudes. Oh, we need more power. Um, what we should probably do... Wait, just... Oh, no, it's right-click. Let's do that. Look at that. Oh, you love to see it. All right, now what's going on here? Bob Lewis. I need more staff. I thought my level went up. Oh, you know what? I've probably got a bed limit. Build more quarters. Build more pylons. More Vespine gas generators. Basic employee quarters. See if we get a multiplier from that. Entertainment buildings. Keep people happy. Shut up. All right. Look at this. 13 grand. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, look at that. I'm nearly back in the black. Let's go, big dog. All right. Employees. I want some more. Look at this. Sorry, mate. You keep asking for that much. I'm not going to pay it. All right. Oh, apparently there's noise. People entering this building suffer satisfaction penalty. Where's the noise? Do I get an overlay? Hang on, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, the actual oil. Look at that. Okay, that is cool. This game, I'm actually really starting to enjoy this a lot. You know, I made clear my reservations. Zero out of one contracts filled. What does that mean? Oh, does that mean I can take another contract? Deal. Is that what you're saying? Uh-oh. No, that wasn't right. Quick contracts. Show daily. Report. Prices. Are you talking about this? Client tree. Locked. Requires money. Oh, we don't have that. <gasps> oh, here we go. Look at this. Change in reputation level depends on the decree of contract fulfillment. If you complete 100% of the contract, you will earn a reputation based on the profit. If you complete... Nice! Okay, that's cool. That's what we want. Again, like I said, I was just going to abuse the game. Oh, this is actually really good. This is really good. Okay, nice. So you don't don't do what Daddy Scarlet did. Don't make these stupid contracts that uh that will bite you in the bum because apparently I have to supply five thousand fucking things a day, which is not going to happen. 
Okay, uh... Cancel. You're gonna lose reputation, that's fine. That's fine. I put myself in a spot. Um... Where is my reputation? Zero. Right, so... How many barrels do I have? Crude oil. 200 barrels. So if I do this quick contract, will I get reputation? Hang on. Let the crude oil get delivered. 24 hour balance. Apparently this is sold. For 800. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what's going on there. Are they going to send a car to come and get it? Don't know. What's going on here? I think they need a rescue. Right, okay, this is good. Much deeper than you might think at first blush. A lot going on. Like I said, I, I was condemning some of the mechanics allowing me to over-project on contracts. But to be honest, once I started to understand it more, I realised, you know, as per the norm, I'm just an idiot that didn't know that this game is more clever than I gave it credit for. And that's probably because of the art style. So a wonderful art style, but a lot of cool moving parts going on underneath the hood. I might have to play some more of this. Yeah, this is really good. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you